What is up guys, it's Nistro here. It's your boy Nistro. And uh, today I want to talk to you guys about the rumors um, of apparently new Noble Knight and uh, Mega Fan and Beast cards or support. And um, I find it kind of weird, you know, it's like why wait all this time? And you know, this is leaked from an OCG set. So like Noble Knights, it seems kind of weird. It's like when did, since when like would Japan make a uh, uh, support for a TCG exclusive or what was first or at first a TCG exclusive archetype Maybe Japan wants to take their turn at it. I mean going into link format uh, I feel like or link era, you know, we should re I should really get used to saying that now um, I feel like a lot more decks have more of a chance because of the slowdown of the game But the thing is that the game is really getting slower um, It's just changing the way that it's played and um Eventually, we're going to find a new medium to really uh, exploit about Link format, but until we do, the game is going to feel a bit slower, um, which it's definitely understandable. I think it was kind of Konami's intentions as well to kind of make the game a bit slower. So, um, just going over uh, just uh, Noble Knights and Mecha Phantom Beast as a whole, Noble Knights are an archetype that really just rely on, like, um, you know, having their equip uh, spell cards, and um, th the thing is that they do, they did get a lot of good support, and they were really good at certain points, they, they were never really competitive level good, but they were always at a point where, you know, they can be playable, and you know, still have fun, and st still kind of like match up with them, well not match up with the meta, like it, it wouldn't be like toe for toe, but you know, they could still get the win sometimes, especially if you had like some creative builds, um, like if you played like Dark Law or something, or when Kaiser Coliseum was still a card, you know, the deck did have a lot more cards to like hinder their opponent. But it's like now, Noble Knights don't really have, um, I mean, the meta has advanced to a point where Noble Knights don't really have uh, a footing, you could say, anymore. So, um, using, so this new support, it could probably be like, um, well, well, in my opinion, I do feel like Noble Knights do need a new tuner. Um, because the Synchro is actually pretty good, it's just we haven't been able to use it as much because Lady of the Lake, to be honest, isn't really that good. Uh, she does allow for Synchro plays, but it's kind of mediocre and she banishes herself after, so she's only like a one-time thing as well. It's, uh, it's kind of sad actually. But, um, another thing we can get is more, like, main deck Noble Knight monsters because we don't have enough good ones. Honestly, uh, like all of them, they like they all have mediocre effects, like um, Dristin and Bedweir and uh, Gwalchavad, uh, and even like uh, some some uh, like brothers. It's like it, it's it's never like anything too broken. It's always just yeah, this is okay, you know. Um, Boars and Madrat are like obvious three of us, but everybody else, it's like you don't even have to play one copy of it's like nothing else you like you have to use it's just maybe maybe one maybe two you know and um mecha fan are an archetype that uh i, I think definitely do have a lot more potential simply because of their use of tokens the thing is is that their token management is kind of weird because uh it's like the way they bring out like not they, they don't bring out tokens as easily as they could and so it kind of hinders a lot of things about the deck um, but a new support could definitely allow them to have better ways to bring out tokens and also the deck is kind of slow um, and like every single Mecha Phantom Beast monster has like a giant block of text <laughs> it's like it's, it's rare to find a Mecha Phantom Beast monster that doesn't have a block of text in its effect box and um, you know they all have these multiple effects that you know they gain levels for tokens they a uh, token, they can't be destroyed while they control a token, and some weird way to bring out a token or to use a token as well. And uh, they they do have, like, they definitely could work out, um, and then because, you know, tokens can be used for link monsters, um, 
and just make a fan of support may be crucial going going forward because if it's something that could help bring out tokens easier um especially if it's like a generic just token engine uh it, it could probably uh change or shift the meta game going forward so it definitely is something uh that you may want to look out for like just like not to like uh really put your hopes on it but just to see like what like exactly what it is konami might be doing here and you know i find it so weird that um there like there was a leak of information but it, it wasn't it a it's not confirmed and b there's no pictures um usually when there's a leak in Yu-Gi-Oh or from from when i've been around uh like i've hardly he heard of a leak that's been without a picture or without an actual source usually most times it comes from like Konami themselves or some official website or somebody gets a set early and then they get to uh, show and then like they show things off before they're supposed to. Most times, like nine times out of ten, like there was some actual evidence behind some leaks. And you know, this time it's more of just a rumor, which I do find kind of weird. Um, still a little shaky. Uh, I, w I would say take it with a grain of salt. Um, I do love both uh, Noble Knights and Mecha Phantom Beast. I did use both those decks at some point in the past. Uh, Mecha Phantom Beast definitely um, is something that I do wish uh, had more more of a showing because Draco Sack was like the best exceed in a Dragon Roller format. And, um, you know, on after Dragon Rollers died out, you know, people just stopped using it for the most part. Um, usually you don't, you don't see it that much. I mean, it still has like a three to four dollar value. But, you know, like, it used to be, like, hundreds of dollars, man. And, you know, now it's just, like, a, something you can pick up for, like, a few bucks. So, it's, times have really changed. So, yeah, um, I guess that's all I can really say for now. It's, it's really just all speculation. Um, but, you know, even if these decks don't get, um, the, this support, you know, I, I think it's nice that people are just starting to talk about these decks again. Maybe get a few uh, minds really, uh, get a few heads thinking about, you know, like maybe ways we can play this deck during Link Era. Um, I, I think it will be nice to see Noble Knights. I mean, a lot of people diss Noble Knights, um, especially with like the whole Platinum or anything. Um, a lot of people take it real seriously. And some people just hate the Platinum Era, like what they did with Noble Knights. And, Mecha Phantom Beasts are kind of, like, they like they aren't too consistent. They don't have searchers. Um, and, well, they do have a searcher. It's just, it's weird, like, the way it works. It's, like, it, it's, it's not consistent because it's so weird the way Mecha Phantom Beasts do things. So, um, I'm interested to see how Konami actually handles the deck moving forward. If they're actually going to do anything about it. But, yeah, uh, I guess that's all I have to say for now. Um, if you guys want to, you know, leave a comment, you know, maybe something, uh, a deck that you would like to see more support for, you know, definitely go out and, uh, put one below about that. You know, we could definitely have a conversation down there, but, um, other than that, I guess that's all I have to say for now. This was your boy Nisho here. Nisho out. Peace.